Hello, 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 it's me. And we happens to be Joy, Joy Ruffin, coming from the Sunshine State, Florida. So now am I saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and maybe to a few of you, good night. But wherever you are, I hope all of you know by now, always coming your way, the very, very best. I hope that your holiday weekend was fun, enjoyable, relaxing, therapeutic, healing, and all of that good stuff. It was a lovely holiday weekend here in sunny Florida. The weather, you couldn't ask for better, and I hope you had the same. This week, my friends, the series, we're talking about how to be a leading lady and a how-to series on what it takes to be a leading lady. Because, you know, women rock. Women are powerful beyond measure, and we're all about empowering women to be all that they can be. And this week, the word for the week, the food for thought, is influence. Influence. We all have it. How are you using it? So the title I gave my blog for this week is Leading Ladies Are Always Women of Influence. And you are a leading lady. And if you're not, you're in the process of becoming. And what does that mean? A leading lady who is a woman of influence means that wherever you go and whatever you do, whatever you say and whatever you're about, you leave your stamp, your signature, and your mark. You know, or you are in the process of getting to know who you are and being the best that you can be always. And you also realize that it's really not about you, that your gifts, your talents, your purpose is to be shared with others. It's about unity. It's about camaraderie. It's about connecting and networking with others who are of the same mindset so that you can become a woman of influence, a lady, a lady who knows how to carry herself. And again, I will continue to say this because I think the word lady has been misconstrued and the times that we're in now. It doesn't mean Edwardian. It doesn't mean a little hat and gloves and corset and all the other things that equated to what a lady was back in the day. Today we're talking about the modern woman who's being all that she can be and in the process of being and becoming is helping and supporting others who want and need the same. Because we need more ladies. We need more ladies of influence who know that they're powerful, know that they're mighty and that they're great beyond measure, but need and have the desire to share that with others who want to be all and the best that they can be. Lots of food for thought, but my friends do take a read. The blog has quite a bit of information that you'll find entertaining and informative, and also leave me your comments, because this series that will be going on for a while is all about how you can rise to your purpose and be the best that you can be in being a lady, a modern lady of the times, and a woman, a lady of influence, because not all women are ladies. Sad to say, and probably you know that, but it's time for those who are thinking about what it means to be a person of influence and one who leaves a legacy for others, especially the up and coming generation, it's time to take the banner and move forward. So again, wherever you are, you had a great weekend and you're moving forward to have a great week. And I'll look forward to being with you again and soon. Tune in every first Wednesday of each month for my Facebook Live series which will be all about what it means to be on your journey and the best means and ways for you to get there. And send me your questions and comments of what you'd like to hear more about. Wherever you are, my friends, be well and take care of you first, because when you do, then you're able to look after many, many others. Be well and take care. Until the next time. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.